Grüezi YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent again. This is a short update of my review about ESP8266 board. There I mentioned a small PCB board for the ESP12E from Oshpar. The board was designed by Eldon Brown and shared to the community. The advantage of this board is that it is very small and definitely breadboard friendly. Now I got three of these boards in the mail and want to share my first impressions with you. The board itself has the same width as the ESP12. This makes it necessary to choose an unusual approach to connect the ESP to this board. At the edges of the board, Elden designed holes for each ESP pin. These holes are exactly at the edge of the board and therefore cut in half during milling. The copper therefore becomes visible and solderable. Thanks to the precision of the cutting at Osh Park, the copper at all holes was still there. The second innovation of this board are the pin headers. Elden uses SMT pin headers instead of normal ones. Normal pin headers are through hole. The ones he uses are soldered like SMD parts on the surface of the PCB. This approach again saves a lot of space. Now let's assemble one of the PCBs. I start with the top. It's not easy to make sure that all connections at the edges are okay, but it's possible. I checked it after soldering and all had a contact. As a second step, I soldered the SMT pin headers to the bottom of the board. Because they are so narrow, this is also not easy, but also possible. Here you have to pay attention that the distance between the two rows are exact, otherwise it will not fit into the breadboard. The result is a very small module which fits extremely good into the breadboard. Thank you Elden for sharing. There are two areas I could imagine to do it differently. I would foresee SMD pads for all pins, not only for the six at the bottom. Like this I would be able to solder the ESP in my reflow oven. And the second small thing, it would be good to include the mandatory pull up and down resistors directly on the board and maybe even a small voltage regulator but I'm not sure if this is possible with only two layers. All in all, this is a innovative solution for a breadboard friendly ESP12 module. And it is very cheap too. Osh Park charged just a few dollars, including fast shipment to Switzerland. I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. Bye.